Good evening, everyone. Russ Davis, International Amphitheater, Chicago. These boys you're going to see in this match, Larry Shane is from Detroit, and Bobby Nelson just from a little bit of everywhere. They're both heavyweights. And this is a match I think you're going to like. The referee is Fred Nicholas. Shake uh, that Nelson made. Uh, the crowd really expected him probably to reach out and pop Larry Shane on the teeth, but he didn't. So there's the bell, and we're off and running. You missed him, Mr. Nelson. Wrist lock outside and doubled. Another wrist lock outside and doubled. You could see that one. No need to call it. <laughs> Looks like you finally met a little guy, Bobby, that's going to take no sass off of you. Nelson trying to pull Shane into that corner. Headlock. Side mare. There's nothing wrong with it, Mr. Nelson, if he can get away from you. above us here. <laughs> Mr. Nelson is about ready to uh, do a 30 mile slow burn here. There's a headlock by the hair. More of the same. Shane trying to work his way out of this headlock. Pretty rough headlock that Nelson's got on here. Ooh, look at the block that kid took. He tried for a flying toe hold, missed it, but he did succeed in tripping Nelson, if you were watching. And now he has a toe hold reversed. This 
as Lad Shane is quite a favorite with you folks. Most of you have seen him from other parts of the country. He's a youngster. He just started in the game recently. Nelson's about ready to yell stretcher bearer here, I think. Or Corman. He's old, he's rough, and he is tough, this guy Nelson. He's been around the business for many, many years. Still a comparatively young man. Trying to pull Shane into the corner. <laughs> Shane caught him. Well, draw a line with your toe. Head and shoulders and a clip across the small of the back. Plus a rabbit punch. Body scissors. Using the rope, sir. He was caught at it Let finally. We don't want him out here, Bob. No, Brother Shane, you have to break clean, too. Which way you go? Nelson was trying to make out like his tongue was cut or he had a loose tooth and couldn't hear over the noise of the crowd. But it's the thing it got Shane. This is a knee lock that Nelson has. It's a shoulder stand using Shane's trunks. Nelson gets his hand up here just as referee Nicholas gets up. him loose. Shane tried with a half kangaroo and there it goes again. Brother Nelson hanging right onto that leg lock. It passes between a knee lock and a leg lock. There he got him loose. Maybe one. Uh oh. Nelson's got a leg out over the ropes.
Nelson. We caught you with your hand in the cookie jar then, boy. That's what you get for cheating, Bobby. Knee lift right into the face. There's a falling toe hold, and then this is the conventional form of it. Oh, good. He put that one right in the middle of Mr. Nelson's dummy. Made another drop on that toe hold. I like this guy, Shane. He's a crowd pleaser. Mr. Nelson, you got in his hair. Kid Shane's got about half of his teeth knocked out. Clinky looks like a pumpkin, doesn't he? It's all right. <laughs> He's checking it out. Nicholas says, yep. Nelson's complaining like a Philadelphia lawyer about this elbow of Shane's. Still hanging close here. Lock outside and doubled. Keep your eye on him, Clinky. Shane kind of warded off half of that one, but he didn't that one. and do this Marcus at Queensberry way. Hey, fellas, uh, there's another one. Bobby has got a great big mouse on that eye. I don't know what this is all about here. Hey, uh, wait a minute, Larry. Oh, he's just lining up on it. guy Shane he, he wants to be a boxer he's messing with it he finally took enough of old rough stuff Nelson here and got a hat full of it yep there's where all these young wrestlers sell this guy short they think about the time he's out of gas that uh, they've got him and then he always comes up like this
Shane looking up here all the while at the referee. That's a broad arm lick right across Nelson's face, and it's legal. It's a knee lock and a scissors, a leg scissors that Nelson has. Shane's going after this arm to see if he can break it up, see if he's got the strength. That's a rough little routine. Change it doesn't stick his fingers in Nelson's eyes, but he he hooks him by the by the bones over his eyes to to keep his fingers from slipping. Well, it looks as though Mr. I'm going to say it looks as though Mr. Nelson's had it, but it's not quite that way. Put on the anvil chorus. Shane's trying to work his way into the scissors here, and he may do it. Well, he's finally worked his way out from under the rope. That's what he wanted. Watch out for the shenanigans now. Shane saw that one coming. That's a good way to get housemaid's, housemaid's knee. Wong, get away from this side of the ring. I don't want you hanging around here. Checking up to see if all the cartilage is there, even though it may be distributed around a little freely, like coarse gravel. Put Charlie horses on you, then you'll really have biceps that way. That's hard. Arm lock falling. Oh, head scissors. Uh, 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 Mr. Shane. No digging for buried treasure. This guy Shane himself is not exactly an angel, is he, Clink? He'd be a bad one in an alley scuffle, I can tell you that. Shane wants to know if he can pop him in the head. Oh, there's no need to alter the shape of his head now, Shane. It's all right. Oh, I'd love to clip him, he says. This is still a head scissors figured forward on Mr. Bobby Nelson's head. Well, old rough and tough's working his way around. He may come out of it. Boy puts one on and Nelson fell on him with his full weight. That guy must be made out of iron. It's 
wrestler. That little old Shane's a toughie. After taking a fall like that, I've seen a wrestler lose a match because they didn't have the strength to survive being fallen on, as Shane was. Oh, now quit, quit making with the chin music. Nelson's trying to make out that he's choked here. He's not choked. Nah. We won't buy that quite, Bobby. Not yet. Nelson, Nelson is able to breathe just as free and easy as you and me. Shane had to break it up. It's... <laughs> Did you hear what Jane said? He says, what do you want? You can drive a truck through there. <laughs> He's a chinny little guy. They're standing there, and Shane says, check it. One, two. All the time this conversation's been going on, Nelson's shoulders were flat to the floor. That's Possibly part of it, Shane's fault because he was talking to Nicholas all the while. He break his head off. Shane just said, "This guy's crazy. You better tell him to give up." the counts of two that have been made on Bobby here in the last two or three minutes were put together they'd mount the figures that would represent a war debt of some kind or other oh Shane got himself a judo lick then right across the Adams apple that's just a good old back alley broad and lick a pair of them another one Tim Burr. Oh, no. One, two. Shane tossed him off there. Oh, cute maneuver. Mr. Nelson wanted was a comfort and, and surcease of those ropes then. Shane is smaller than the average heavyweight. He's a blocky built little guy. He must be filled up in odd places with old bits of iron and scrap lead to represent his weight. Come on out. Mr. Nelson is not about to. Unless he comes out on his own terms. Slight case of muscle binding on huh, Bobby. There's a wrist bar. Mr. Shane, please don't. No, madam, we've never had that happen. There's one in the bacon. Oh, that's what I did. This this was what I did. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. See? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. knee blows in under the shoulder blades like that will loosen you up.
flag. Nelson's old favorite trick. Two. Count of two. Shane's out. How he manages to come out from under in that split second. Well, there's that chin lock posted by the trunks that Nelson has developed. He had a chokehold on Shane there. There it is again. That illegal use of the trunks. One. Two. official here in a minute. The winner in 24 minutes and 25 seconds on a disqualification, Larry Shane. Larry didn't want to win it that way. Bobby didn't want to lose it that way. So consequently, there's quite a rhubarb here. But it is a disqualification win for Larry Shane over Bobby Nelson. Russ Davis at ringside. International, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>